My name's Harry Watlin, um, I am the Academy Manager at Advanced Player Development. Um, today we've done a session here at North Kent College. So part one, the arrival activity today was all around defending and making defending fun. So the arrival activity, we actually just played football tennis um, with a couple of rules just introduced straight away. Ball had to go back over the net with a head so that we're just working on straight away as they come in, judging the flight of the ball, contact on the ball um, and just a friendly idea of heading. Okay, chaps, so just have a listen. So for your arrival activity today, because we're working on defending crosses, arrival activity today is a little bit of football tennis. The rules are very simple. You can have two touches per person, unlimited amount of touches per team, but the ball has to go back over with your head to start off with. Service comes from the back line on a half volley. We ready to go? Sort yourselves out then. Off you go, play. Ball has to go over your head, Neil. Good lad. <coughs> there you go. Judge it. Good. It's got to go back yeah, over your head, Tion. So you're trying to set it up. <coughs> Good. Judge the flight. Good lad. Brilliant. Good, Frank. Good, Max. Set it up for someone. Good, it goes brilliant over there, superb. Part one was good, it was just about integrating them into the idea of lots of headers, lots of contacts on the ball, and there's always a grey area when the ball's in the air. If you don't take control of it and put a name on it, then sometimes it can become uh, a little bit misty. So it was just about introducing them to bring in a noise, being loud, and attacking the ball with some intent. Okay, just relax there, just relax, both sides. So. First basic principle for both teams, judge the flight of the ball, time your jump and attack the football. At the moment, I'm seeing some of you walk away or even worse, not move your feet whatsoever. If the ball comes down low here, we know we need to then set someone up for it to be here. So what I'm looking for is as the ball gets teed up for you here, timing of your jump, attack the ball, surface of your head on the middle of the ball, hit it down into that zone. Are we ready? Let's go. Get it right. Come on. So Max there, you didn't move your feet to get under the ball enough. Set it up for someone, Frank. Good. Brilliant, Dimmy. Good tee on. Well done, Zach. Better. That's better. Judge the flight of it. Judge the flight. Good. Love it, Frank. Brilliant, you. Good. So now you're trying to put a little bit more venom in your finishes with your headers. Not just getting it over, looking at distance and angles. <clears throat> Love that, Hafiz. Good. Good. Good, Tion. Brilliant. Excellent. Good. And just relax there. Okay. Just have a listen. So now, now I'm going to give you a decision. Now you can play over with your feet, but it has to be one touch if you do that. I also want you to think about the different variations of headers because I'm seeing quite a few flat ones here where you're square, which is fine. Tion's just showed me a great example of him backpedaling and just lifting it over using his neck muscles, which is great. I've not seen anyone yet, Frank, I expect you to be able to do this, jump and hang for quite a while and then power through the ball. But if you do go over one touch with your feet, that's allowed now as well. Fellas, get yourself over on this team here. Ready? Let's go, play. Nice and sharp. Good. Set it up for your mate. Good, excellent. It's one touch over if you go with your feet. Good. Communication's going to be key now. Oh, get around it. Get around it. Yes, yeah, your point yellow's over there. 
Good lad. Good try. Excellent, Lucas. Brilliant, Denzel. That's the one, Frank. That's the one we wanted to see. Good, George. Well played. Good stuff. What a rally this is. Love that. And stop there. Fantastic this side. Right, just lastly, just lastly. There's always, yes, Lucas, throw it. Okay, now. There's always going to be a little bit of a grey area when the ball is travelling and it's in the air. If I'm passing it to feet, there's no grey area there because we know that that's the connector. But when it's in the air, if I don't say anything and I don't communicate, there's always going to be a little grey area. So now the rule is if you touch the ball, you have to shout your name before you make contact. That way everyone in your zone, in your vicinity, knows that you're coming to attack the ball. So as it comes up, there, Tion's ball, fantastic. And then we go from there. Are we ready to play? Yeah, last little set, fellas. Ready? Play. Good, Max. Good try, Zach. Good try. Love that, Taylor. Remember, it's got to be one touch over. Go on, play on, play on. Talking, Lucas. Get into that habit of speaking. Good, Lucas. Excellent, Tion. Good try with the shoulder. Oh, that's all right. Oh, he's done ever so well. Play, Denzel. Yes, Frank. Good. Ah, oh, good try, Max. Just choose a different header. That's all right. Just choose a different one. What a touch. Get there, Denzel. Ah, oh, wrong pitch, Denzel. Last minute, fellas. Last minute. Oh. Good, Tion. Yes, Tion. Love that. Brilliant, Max. What a rally. Okay. This side. Just pause there. Just stop. Just stop. Right. Really good, really good, really good, really good. Ball drops here. Is that a grey area? Yeah. Right, so what needs to happen? 100%. If one of you take control, it's not a problem. Take control when it's in the air. What a header that is, Tion again. Get round it, Max. What a touch, son. Oh, it's massive. It's massive. 